Hello, Planet Players. I uh, hope you're enjoying all the videos. And today we are going to dive into a new piece um, in the Hall of the Mountain King by Edward Grieg. Uh, one of my favorite pieces to play. It's a lot of fun. It has a lot of energy and it's a little spooky. Um, this one, um, we're going to talk about also in the D minor scale, which is the uh, key of the piece that it's in. So um, let's jump right in and we're going to now play a D minor scale. So um, this scale, um, you already know all the notes for it because it's based off of the F major scale. So our F major scale, which we've already covered in a previous video, only has one flat to it and that's the B flat. So uh, we only uh, have to worry about that single accidental for now. We'll add some more in. Um, as we play the piece. But for the scale, I'm only wanting you to play the B flat. So we start on a D, we go up to this middle D, and then back down to this D. Uh, and again, the middle D has the thumb register key. And we'll just play every note natural except for the B flat. Okay? So one note at a time D, E, F natural, G, A, B flat, C, this pinky here on, on the right hand, C, and then lift it up for the D, and then back down, okay? So let's do that with half notes with me. Here we go. Starting on this D, one, two half notes, here we go. <laughs> through a couple more times so you're really comfortable with it. Now that you're comfortable with it, I'm going to change one of the notes. I'm going to change the C to a C sharp. Whoa. Now it's going to sound a little weird when we do that, but this is another type of minor scale. We have a lot of minor scales, but I just want you to try that same scale that we just played. The only note we're going to change is the C to a C sharp, okay? So just to review, we have D, E, F, G, A, B flat, then a C sharp. And I want you to play the C sharp on the left side, okay? It's a little easier over here. And it's that key that's, oh, it's not the key that's right next to us or the one that's below that, but it's the one that's kind of up right there. Not this one, but this one right here, okay? I know it's confusing because I got that extra key, but ignore that for now. This one right here. Sounds like this. Can you play that note with me? One, two, C sharp. Again, just review it, make sure you have the right notes. Now we're gonna play the D minor scale and we're gonna add a C sharp instead of the C natural. So B flat, we'll go right from the B flat to a C sharp and then up to a D. Let's just do that interval first. B flat, C sharp. B flat first with me, ready and go. Go to the C sharp. Good. Do that a few times. Now, with that interval, and most all of the intervals that cross the break where you have to use the register key, that's our break. I really want you guys to focus on those intervals because those are the trickiest ones. If you haven't noticed already, it's a little difficult to put all the keys and the holes in the right spot or your fingers in the right spot to cover the keys and the holes. So just do that a couple times. It's really worth the time that you put in now. Um, then you'll feel more comfortable and you'll be able to play faster um, sooner if you slow down now, right? We always learn how to walk before we run. So. C sharp, B flat. A couple more times. Here we go. And. Okay. Now, the D minor scale, finally, with this. 
C sharp added, okay? So D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C sharp, D. Let's do it slowly, half notes, and then we'll lay or look at the, the piece. Okay, here we go. One, two, half notes, D. <laughs> scale. It's one of my favorite scales to play when we have that extra raised note right before the, the name of the scale or the name of the key, that D. One of my favorite minor, minor scales. It's called the harmonic minor. Harmonic, okay? Uh, moving on, I'm going to pull up the music for the piece that we're going to play. Now, you might already have this, and if you do, fantastic. Um, if not, that's okay. I'll have the notes up on the screen for us to watch and play along with. So again, we see the key we're in. We're in the key of D minor, because we start on an E and I'm going to think we end on an E. Yes, most of those notes are Ds. So we're going to call this D minor. Even though it has the same key signature as F major, they're relatives. We call them relative major and relative minor when they share the same key signature. So this is D minor. So let's play the first measure. I don't think I have to, we have to practice that. Let's just play it. One, two, and red T go. <laughs> okay, easy enough, right? The next one is A flat. A flat. So now I'm going to show you the next one. A flat again is on the side right here, right? A key here, A flat key there. Okay. It's worth showing you guys. I want to make sure you have the right note. Let's do measure two. One and two, three and four. Here we go. Did you catch the E flat? I hope so. We'll do it again. And don't forget, the accidentals carry through the bar. So this A flat carries through to this A flat or that flat sign, okay? Then G, E flat, G. If you have two, Hit pause, go over your E flat. We've covered it before with the B flat major scale. Um, so make sure you go over that E flat key. I think you all remember how to play E flat. So A flat, E, A flat, G, E flat, G. Let's do it again. One and two, uh, ready, here you go. Great, now let's do the next two bars. You see we have a D and our C natural, right? We don't have the C sharp yet. The C sharp's on its way. But we have a C natural, okay? So D, E, F, G, A, F, A, D, C, A, F, A, C. Ooh, can you try saying that with me? That was really hard for me to do, so I want you to try it. Ooh, let's see if you can get it. Ready, one, ready, go. And D, E, F, G, a, F, A, D, C, A, F, A, C. Oh, whew, good job if you made it through. If not, that's fine. Go back, review your notes, write them in if you have to, if you have your music, and review. Okay, now we're going to try playing it. Start in measure three. Here we go. One and two. Ready, here we go. <gasps> Nice job. Now you see that we have some articulations marked here. We have staccatos, the little dots, and we have accents under some of those notes. Um, what I like to do is I like to uh, mark over them with my pencil, especially the accents, so I remember which notes are accented, which notes get that little extra punch to them, okay? So we're going to play from the beginning, and when you do a staccato articulation, make sure it's nice, short, and crisp. And that has to do with the tip of our tongue to the tip of the reed. Always make sure you're using the tip of your tongue to the tip of your reed. So let's go back and we're, we're going to really think about our staccatos while we play through this time and the accents when we play through it this time, okay? So let's pretend that we're taking this repeat sign that's right here at the end of the first line 
So we'll do this the second time, mysteriously. Here we go, one and two. Already, here we go. <laughs> Okay, nice job. Now, let's go on to the second line here. Second line, we have this note. Can you say it before I do? It is our low A below the stack. Two ledger lines, that's our low A. So, just like the beginning of the alphabet, A, B, C sharp, D, E, C sharp again, E, F, C sharp, F, E, C sharp, E, so a lot of C sharps here, yeah? And then again, A, B, C sharp, D, E, C sharp, E, F, C sharp, F, E. Let's try playing that. There's nothing too difficult in here. So let's just try playing it for measure five. I'm gonna turn the metronome on this time. Oh my gosh, that is not the right tempo at all. So let me get that tempo first. Rum, dum, bum, bum, bum. Boom. That's good. That's much better. That's at 54 beats. Now that's okay. We, we like to start, remember, walking speed before we go running. So here's our walking speed. Number five, measure five, right here. One and two. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> pause, go back, review that section, and when you're ready, we're going to move on. Now, if you noticed the next section that we have coming up, oh, it's the same. Measure 9, 10, 11, 12. Those are the same as the first four bars. So guess what? We already practiced that. We don't have to do it again. Let's see. Uh, 13, 14, they look almost the same. Maybe 15 and 16 are. Uh, mm, no, they have changed. So we need to work on measures 15 and 16. Okay, so here we go. Measure 15. Uh, say the note names with me. Ready? Here we go. D, E, F, G, A, F, A, D, A, F, A, D, D. Oh, a big octave jump when we jump from a D to a D. Right? Because well, we're playing these high notes. I want you to play, practice the high notes, not the low notes. Practice playing the high notes. It's better for us, and it sounds more like the original. D, D. So let's just play. Hold out a high D, this D. Okay. With me. Ready? Go ahead and go. Now the low D. I like to practice some scales like that. So a C major scale would be. Oops, I messed up a couple of notes, but that's okay. We're going to um, keep pushing ahead. So now that we practice that D to D interval, just ignore that octave scale that I just played. We're going to play now for measure 15 and 16. So let's play those notes. Ready, set, with the metronome. One, two, ready, here you go. Okay, now that intervals, especially D, D, will be a lot easier if you tongue those notes nice and short like we're supposed to. It'll help that interval. Now we're going to keep going because there's no repeat sign, right? Oh, I skipped that repeat, but that's okay. So in measures five, six, seven, and eight, we have that repeat sign. We go back to measure five and we repeat that again. I'm going to scroll back down to the presto and look at the very end before we play it through all the way together. So uh, again, all of these notes are on top of each other, but you can choose one. I want you to practice playing all of them. Yes, that is right. Practice playing all of the notes. You'll be a better player because of it. So um, top line again, rest, D or B. This is a half rest, two beats, three, four, rest, 
The A changes, but the D stays the same. Three, four. Let's look at these notes. D, E, F, G, A, F, A, D. Well, we've already practiced that measure a couple times. Measure 20. C sharp, A, C sharp, E, D. That one we have not, so let's do that one. C sharp. Now that's that one on the left side, the left one that I went over with you at the beginning. So let's do that note. We're going to hold each note, one of these notes for half beat, just to get used to the pattern. So, ba, ba, C sharp, E, D. Okay, so we'll play those notes. Here's measure 20, has half notes. Ready, here you go. Nice job. Now, don't forget, that's a little too much. Hit pause, go back and review those intervals, especially the ones that cross the break, the C sharp and the A. We're going to now play it from 19, do 19 and 20. Here we go. A one and two. Ready, here you play. <laughs> repeat sign okay and then the fun part about this piece is that these tempo markings have changed we have gone from allegro which just means it means pretty quick right and mysterious but presto means very fast and we have an accelerando which goes to another presto which we can make even faster so by the time we get here to measure 17 we're going to start speeding it up so measure 19 and 20 needs to be really well polished at a slow tempo before we go on. Now, I'm going to save the play along video for the next video. So go through this video again, practice the D minor scale, the harmonic minor scale, um, and play through this piece a couple of times before you jump into the play along video. So I'll see you there and I hope you all are doing well and see you in the next video.